Hey YouTube, this is an update of my Piranha and Veiled Chameleon. Over here I have my Red Belly Piranha Chopper. It's growing, it's grown, you know, but it's been a bit slow, you know. I feed him practically pretty much anything that's meat or meat substance. So I got shrimp, I fed him shrimp and he ate that. Yeah, I felt just kind of dirty. I'm, I'm going to change that tonight. Still in the 20-gallon long tank, which is it's a pretty good piranha. I'd say he's worth maybe about $50. Nice fins because he's single and, you know, very nice piranha. I like him. And on to my chameleon cage. Well, uh, as you may have remembered in my other video, he was in a 20-gallon. Well, actually, I bought this cage from KIJI. It's pretty much it was it was uh pretty cheap. It's apparently I don't know how many gallons though, but I know it kind of looks homemade, and it's pretty good. It's 24 inches by 24 inches on the base, and it's three feet tall, and I think it's pretty good. Uh, I don't really want to have something that's four feet tall in my room because I don't know. I just don't like that, but. I have here my veiled chameleon cage. His name is Elvis. Well, cage, this is right now. Well, the cage is permanent, but the stuff you see inside here is just temporary. As for substrate, I don't have any. I'm just using paper in the bottom. And I have my dripper right there. Hang on. Stop dripping. There. Have my dripper for him. This homemade dripper. I actually made this dripper. I saw it off a video on YouTube, and it was pretty, pretty cool. Got some plants, some branches, and yes, I have. I made all of this with uh, well, I connected it by glue gun and twist ties, and the plants are held on by twist ties except for this one here. And as you can see, this is my veiled chameleon Elvis. Well, he's brown right now though, but. He is pretty nice, you know, he's not that mean. He doesn't really get that offensive when I get near him. So this is the inside of the cage. This is the bucket to catch my water from the dripper. Branches, these are real branches I got outside, so they're pretty safe. They're mainly just maple branches, and they're pretty dried out, so I put them in there. I got a Dollarama plant back there. And here's Elvis. Well, the reason why I have that piece of uh, corner trim there is because, well, A, I went outside and tried to find a nice stick and I couldn't find any, and that was just mainly the case. So I had just I just glued it on there. It's only temporary right now. So Elvis is basking in his spot up top there, and... For the bulb I have, apparently I have an Exoterra Solar Glow. It's 125 watts, and the, um, well, I should be using a deep dome, but in the beginning I started out with a clamp lamp, which is a Flukers or a Fluckers, and it goes to 150 watt, 8 inch wide clamp lamp. And so, there it is. But I have built something for it. As you remember, probably in the 20 gallon video, that there wa it was the bar was actually at the top well that wasn't needed so I just took it down and you know I just uh, glued it on to a specific height that I wanted so that it's close enough but not touching the screen it's probably about two or three inches away looks like two two inches away from the screen so he still get his proper amount of heat and light and that's Elvis right there. Yeah, I already fed him, so I'm not going to feed him. Uh, I will do a feeding video next time. So, for substrate, I was just wondering what kind of substrate would be the best. Because, you know, plain paper works and all, and I have an unlimited supply for it. So, if you guys could just give me a heads up of what kind of substrate. I was going to go for the coconut husk, the one you have to put in the water and expand. I was going to get two bricks of that. And plus, it would, uh, I've heard that it would keep the humidity up in the tank if I use that, so I'd use that. And I heard that it's, uh, not difficult to use or clean out. And it's very in inexpensive. 
But so far, right now, the paper is working very nicely. And this is Elvis's uh, cage, and AKA my brother calls him Rango because of that new movie, but I like the name Elvis for him. Alright, peace out, YouTube.